everyone. My name is Christina Celestine, and today it is my mission to persuade you all on this particular subject matter. The title of my persuasion speech is Eugenics plus Black Abortions equal Black Genocide. Um, I would like to inform you all of the silent genocide prevalent in our society regarding African American and our population regarding abortion. Here we have a continued eugenically motivated mission to exterminate and eradicate the black population. Coined by Margaret Singer, the founder of Planned Parenthood, the Negro Project was aimed to sterilize unaware black women and others she deemed undesirable in society. Singer said, and I quote, colored people, are, colored people are like weeds and need to be exterminated. I stand before you to give you awareness that we as a commune of people need to know the plight of the enemy and will not, by any means, will not be zeroed out or targets of their aim. We must arm ourselves with knowledge of history and be prepared for whatever they have. We must prepare our children and keep our children regardless of social issues or variables. You will not rid the world of the ones who built it. And here I have um, my first slide that says there is a target on the womb of black women. Here is a pastor who is a pro-life activist, a pro, now pro-life activist, and he says the most dangerous place for an African American is in the womb. And his name is Pastor Clinton Childress Jr. I'll jump real quickly into statistics. Minority women constitute about 12% of the female population, ages 15 to 44 in the United States. But they underwent approximately 36% of abortions. Um, according to the Gutschmeister study, black women are five times more likely as white women to obtain abortion. On average, 1,876 black babies were aborted I'm sorry, are aborted every day in the United States. A highly significant study of 1993 from Howard University showed that African American women over the age of 50 is, more, is four times more likely to get breast cancer if they had abortions compared to women who did not. And you can go to the next slide. This is, this is what happens. This is a life, this was a life, and this life did not ask to be created. And we as women, as black women, as all women, need to understand the ramifications um, of the end result of abortions. You don't see them when they happen, it's done strategically um, in a sterile environment, and regardless of the weeks, the trimester of your, your fetus, I mean, it, as you can see, the baby has full legs, Five, ten toes, ten fingers, a head, hair, little eyes, nose. This was a life, and this is business to Planned Parenthood and other satellite abortion clinics. This is what they do, and we as black women are keeping them in business. And this is the agenda of the eugenics culture who are targeting us. They do not want us to procreate. They don't want us to to know our history, therefore we can't build, we can't contribute to society in a positive way. Um, <coughs> history, black genocide is nothing new under the sun. The lack of humanity extended to African Americans who were and are now often seen in society as animals. And briefly I have started from the Willie Lynch letter, the Negro lynchings, black codes, um, the Jim Crow laws, Plessy versus Ferguson, um, uh, the Tuskegee experiment, and other human experiments such as the, um, the Holmesburg experiment in the Holmesburg prison. Um, it is my mission to seek and educate you all on the laws that surround abortions. The laws say that if a female over the age of 17 can go and legally obtain an abortion with no parental consent no matter the age or race, I'm sorry, no matter the race. If she's 16, she has to have parental consent. Um, but it still remains that black women 
are the target, and so is our children. Um, who is affected? Everyone of African descent. Um, no matter the socioeconomic backgrounds, the educational status, or the religious backgrounds, we're all affected. And our silent victims are these babies. This child could have grown up to be who knows what, who knows who. And life was cut down um, just like that. And it's, it's, it's sad, but it's true. And it's happening, and it's true, and it's happening every day. If you ride around, you'll notice Planned Parenthoods are strategically stationed in urban communities, in urban neighborhoods. You're not going to go to Kingswood and see a big Planned Parenthood sitting near golf courses. You see them here. You see them um, in lower neighborhoods in Dallas. You see them in socioeconomically disadvantaged neighborhoods, basically telling African American and Hispanics, you know what, if you get pregnant, it's not a problem. We're here to take care of that life for you for a small fee, of course. And we, as women, are not thinking, you know, oh, you know, it's an ulterior motive, which it is. We just want to, for whatever reason, we just want to abort, um, abort the life. And I think if everyone sees this, this was a life. I mean, you know, this had a heartbeat. And if women attempting or seeking abortion, if they see this, I'm pretty sure that they would have the same reaction as you all did on the slide. Was pulled up. And briefly, you do the math. Um, the approximate number of African American deaths since 1973. And you can see here AIDS was 2,695, violent crimes was 3,006, 313, accidents was 3,070, 723, cancer, it started to up, it started to up with heart disease and when you get to abortion it's, it's 13 million. So that, I mean, all those added together, all those variables added together, don't even touch, begin to touch 13 million. And in conclusion, this incidence of abortion has resulted in tremendous loss of life among African American babies. Since 1973, over 13 million abortions have occurred. Michael Novak, a renowned researcher, has calculated since the number of current living blacks in the United States is 36 million, the missing 13 million represents an enormous life for without abortion. Black Americans in a community now number 15 million persons. It would be 36% larger if we would have kept those 13 million babies. So I encourage you to get out, get aware, talk to someone who's considering abortion, do research on it, Look at the aftermath, look at the babies, smallest quarters that are just taken out with, it's, it's a job and it's done for money and it's no consideration and if we don't watch it, if we don't watch the hidden agenda, we will not last. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.